Here we go. Oh, we didn't even talk about PS5 Pro, which could be a thing here. I don't think it will be. Very smart to start with, though, Divers, because everyone knows it'll be here, right? Hi everyone, I'm Just Herman Hills, cool head of PlayStation on. Studios, and I'm honored to present the first state of play of 2024. There we go. The first three years of PS5 have given us incredible stories, immersive worlds and groundbreaking gameplay from PlayStation Studios and their partners. We've also expanded PlayStation Plus with new features including PS5 game streaming. And with PSVR 2 and PlayStation Portal, which released last November, we're committed to offering new and surprising ways for our audience to interact with their PS5. But none of this means anything without great games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences and diverse ways to play. Today, we're looking ahead to titles coming later this year and beyond, with extended gameplay and announcements we hope you find as exciting as we do here at PlayStation. Enjoy the show. Stellar Blade. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. My god. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth. I wonder what we were supposed to be looking at in that scene. The Nativa has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. <laughs> the physics are very interesting. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. That's where the Alpha and AT by is. Game looks visually looks great anyways. Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II. Then I can be your engineering support. She puts her techni puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Here, done. Something does feel different. The tie is hilarious. <laughs> She's just wearing a tie for no reason. <laughs> this is Zion, a city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. Oh, oh city underneath the wasteland eve is called angel, angel by the survivors oh, and is an sick. object of both you, awe and fear i'm not selling anything to you they'll seem a bit wary at first but will gradually loosen up as eve tools? shows a commitment to rebuilding the city hello angel how are you i see we have guests i can't believe the angel is here the survivors will sometimes ask eve for help please save my younger sister wait right here Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. This is selling me. I'm. I, this place I has like been this. overrun by Nativas. 
and malfunctioning machines and robots. A supply camp in a place like this? You will occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items. Acquire new skills. Upgrade equipment, and more. She can also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. Eve will often encounter people in need and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Natiba, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or... Something worse. What are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nitiba? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of all Natibas? Right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. This looks like a near it game in disguise, doesn't it? It's fine. I can like do it's trying alone. to trick you. It won't be easy. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the EVE Airborne Squad. I can feel the hate. I've seen a lot of the I game. I didn't think we'd this see source. this much. I will this find it. And I will make it pay. Open it. It's windy. Really showing off the visuals. The health bar looks like it's trying to say something in Morse code. Yeah, this is my shit. Bayonetta, a lot of Death Stranding, a lot of Near, a lot, I mean, it's, it's like... Yeah, yeah, can't wait for this. Do we get a date? We do. April 26th. Taking notes, please. 안녕하세요. 시프터벨 대표이자 게임의 디렉터인 김영태입니다. 이 게임은 우리가 수년간 유저 여러분들께 선보이기 위해 꿈꿔왔던 게임이며 플레이스테이션 5 그리고 플레이스테이션 스튜디오의 전폭적인 지원 덕분에 그 꿈을 현실화할 수 있게 되었습니다. 기나긴 여정이었고 빨리 팬분들이 4월 26일 스텔라 블레이드를 만나보시기를 기대합니다. Go! Oh. Alright, straight to Sonic. <laughs> oh, we got, let's go Whiplash! Oh my god. I played this as a kid, I think. What is this? What Sonic is this? I remember the surfboard, specifically. Kid, I was a huge sh uh, Shadow fan. Edge Lord Sonic, yes. Give me more of that.
is this? Zenless Zone Zero. We've seen that before. I know that looked familiar. Okay, and it's coming to PS5. I don't remember where we've seen that, but I've seen it. Here we go. Everyone's favorite form stars. Just came up to, uh, or as a reminder anyways, this is coming out for PlayStation Plus. So if you have Plus, I believe Essential, you just get this. This does nothing for me, I gotta be honest with you all. Oh. Hey. You guys kind of have Splatoon on PlayStation now, right? Yeah, PlayStation Plus Monthly Game Jam. Oh, Day the Diver. I heard this was in a fantastic game. I very much want to play this. Very happy it's coming to PlayStation. It's April. Yes. Very happy about this. It's Godzilla. Imagine. Oh wait, it really is. Oh my god. <laughs> it actually is Godzilla. This is sick. Are you kidding me? And that'll be May, okay, so next month. Unclear if that's DLC, if you pay for that. We don't know. Press release now. Castlevania meets Minecraft. Was it called V Rising? Is that what that was? coming this year at some point. Okay. Be a little more clear with the naming there. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Benson. This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return of a horror franchise that has been with us since the original PlayStation. Let's take a look at what's next for Silent Hill. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we all wanted Konami back and then very much a monkey's paw situation. Maybe I can be like her. Got the phone camera or phone light. What's with this place. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. What are you hiding inside? Maya? What the fuck? <laughs> 
No thanks. No. No, no. Full game, free to play. Is this the um Konnichiwa Silent Hill series of producer of Sumero Kamoto Motoi des. Orain Tadaita noa Silent Hill the short message to you, Mattaka Tarashi Silent Hill to Narimas. Honsakua Hondis Konato, PlayStation Five de Muro Hai Shin Tashimas. コナミが送る現代を舞台にしたサイコロジカルホラーをぜひ体験してください。それでは最後にこちらの映像をご覧ください。Silent Hill, guys. So I don't know if this is a remake or something. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. This is. Oh no. No, no. Weird music choice. Out of everything, this is probably my most anticipated game. Out of everything we know right now, right? Including like things like Kingdom Hearts, you know, like nebulous things. I cannot wait. Playing that, I'm dissecting that later. Stare into the flame. Think of this fire as a beacon. Its warmth, its energy. Now, focus your mind. This got leaked prior to the show. 
Do I actually know what this is? And step into the void. That was cool. That got me a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. That got me a little bit. Alright. <laughs> Metro VR. Cool. Metro VR. Let me know. This is. I didn't actually catch it. Um, I don't know if this is like the last state of play, but this is not like normal state of plays where they like. They're very much Nintendo Directs where you got the screen, you got like squares, and then like you go talk about it, go in, come out, go to the next square, go in. So, you know, pacing much better, I think, this way. Alex is correct. I think this is the first time they've done that. I'm pretty sure the last day to play had that kind of, for lack of a better word, Netflix-esque way of talking about things with squares. <sighs> Legendary Tales. Very soon. I knew you would come, a risen one. I make no mistake. The dragon will appear before you when the time is Alex come. is losing his mind right now. Favorite part about Dragon Age or Dragon Age, it's Dragon Sogma, being able to be vertical with your combat. who can be of aid to you will reveal themselves in time. Thy will, thy soul, these are all the means thou hast to carve thy path anew. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not, watching one. Very, it's so soon. I can't wait. Hey, everyone, welcome to Ninja Open World Action RPG. The world is Here it is. 
本作の舞台の一つ横浜です19世紀幕末の時代最初に国外に開かれた横浜では和と洋が入り混じった独特の街並みが広がっています主人公は鍵縄を使って屋根の上に登ったり装置アビキルを使って高所から滑空し上空を移動することも可能です This looks awesome. Are you kidding me? 攻撃やガードを駆使しながら敵の攻撃を石火で弾いて体勢を崩すことも可能です敵の武器と相性のいい流派を選ぶと戦いを有利に進めることができます戦闘では日本刀や長槍以外にも海外からもたらされた単銃などさまざまな武器が使用できます発明家である伊賀七と因縁を深めるとさまざまなからくり装置を入手できますホリビ砲は伊賀七が作ったからくりで現代の火炎放射器のような強力な遠隔武器ですホリビ砲や和洋折衷のアクションである銃剣など西洋の技術を生かした武器をうまく活用すれば強敵にも近づくことができるのでぜひマスターしてください幕末を生きる人物たちと紡いだ因縁が物語に大きく影響しますぜひライズオブザ浪人で一人の浪人として運命を切り開いてください Was I expecting this game to be so buried? I don't know. I think I, I guess I was expecting a, just a Ghost of Tsushima esque experience. Happily mistaken. Very happy about that. Got the rope from Sekiro. So, Taos Monarimo, Baku are more to finish in it than they. Station Studios, what is this? What did you do? Just messing around, man. That wasn't serious. It's such an idiot. <laughs> oh, this was heavily leaked. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. No! is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. It was just a prank, man. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The choice is yours. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. This is until dawn, yes. In the chat, kind of chat slash my text messages. Looking for me?
Oh, God. Ah, here we are. It's trending too, I assume. <laughs> Got hands instead of a mask. Is it the, yep, I forget what it's called. <laughs> this again. What? <laughs> what was that? Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. And to the GHV Magellan. Our mobile base of operations. It's Magellan. Come on, I'll Famous help you name. get your bearings. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put them through their paces. These rooms over here belong to other members of the crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. Don't ask why there is no color on them. This is one it's artistic. Ship you got here. Courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. What the fuck? They value their privacy. Seriously? No better than to believe that bullshit. It's the same deal as America. The people here are all spread out, cut off from one another. We want you to help us bring the world together. <clears throat> what? Sam, would that? you mind if I join you? Humor him. Hmm. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. Yes. Really, Sam? Your buttocks? <laughs> what about shotgun? I prefer the How did they animate him like that? It's like stop motion. Sam, do you read me? You'll first need to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. After we've confirmed network coverage, we can take the DHV Magellan and regroup at your position. The problem is not everybody wants to be part of the UCA. That's not the plan, Sam. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. Just like with Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the network. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to back you up. As always, you'll be the one leading the way to expand the network. What's your role in all this? Oh, that the looks commander. Sick. Huh? That's right. These days, I'm fragile in name only. The you UPS driver. Together. <laughs> How did uh, you be born as the UCA? Part two, yep. But I'm afraid that Death Stranding is far from over. This does confirm that, you know, same same deal as the first game. Looks like we're delivering. Danger. Still on the brink of extinction. Yep. Don't act like you don't see it. What? A lot of things changed after you went off. Looks like we're on an asteroid. Especially within the UCA. Bridge is no longer oversees the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. Ugh. So your friends and co-workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. Got a visitor. So after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the chiral network and a pass humanity will be free from the need to move around 
spots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but... He found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. Oh. Looks so cool, though. Hey, brother. Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place a visit. Seeing as how I've been distributing the fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. Guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go-round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about Love you? Love the design. Hey, buddy. Are you just another soulless uh, little husk, huh? Let go of me! Oh, Jesus. Pathetic guitarist, where's the rest of your band? No, uh, 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 uh. That something. Was it you, Higgs? Huh? Was it you that killed Lou? You still don't know, do you? Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> what? <laughs> he uses it like a lightning gun. find on Lou. If you want answers, you're gonna have to find them yourself. But the ones you do find, well, that pain you nurse will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Don't forget. Coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. And you have. We all know you've got this. Now it's time to finish the journey, Sam. Please understand, Sam. We never meant to string you along. That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical in structure to the kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. I saw her home. It was a hellhole. You see, after you left Bridges, I decided to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. I'm not entirely sure what we just watched, but it was awesome. That's and now here show. with me today is visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, Kojima-san. Hi, hey, welcome. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. One that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. Hi, uh, original IP. Uh, 
、うん、準備を始めてますけども、えー、デストランディング2の後に本格的に小島プロダクションで制作にかかりますソニーさんとは、えー、ほぼ30年にわたりエスピオナージュものを一緒に育ててきたという強い経験もあります、えー、またソニーさんは、えー、ゲームだけではなく音楽も映画もされています、えー、間違いなく強力なコラボレーションになるはずです、えー、さらに2年後には僕の、えー、ゲーム制作人生の40周年を迎えます、えー、このタイトルが、えー、僕の集大成の作品になると確信をしています A new action espionage game by Hideo Kojima This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Can you share anything else about this new development? I'm not sure if I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say 映画とゲームの壁を越えたいと思っています。We're all really excited about this project and we will fully support you with the latest innovation Sony has to offer. More details to come. It's okay. Stay tuned. I'm sure there are many, or at least an Easter egg and all that. Before we go, I have one final announcement. State of Play will return February 6th with an extensive look at Final wow. Fantasy VII Rebirth.、Wow. Square Enix will be sharing new gameplay details along with exciting news you won't want to miss. We hope you enjoyed the show. See you soon. Okay, so we immediately get one February 6th for just Final Fantasy stuff. Very cool. I will do surface thoughts as a part of this.、Um, um, so there will be a full breakdown later today with actually Emmett Watkins Jr. from, of course,、uh, VGU TV and、uh, the many projects he works on. But just a full. Quick reaction to what we just watched.、Uh, very good. I would actually say slightly above what a state of play is because I feel like state of plays、uh, transition from very, very good to very bad. And there's not, there usually isn't an in between for the state of plays. I actually think this was very, very good.、Uh, I was correct. We got pretty much no first party here at all.、Um, I do not count until Dawn being re released.、Um, It's just a port from PS4, a game or you could argue doesn't even need to be、uh, ported because you can play it on your PS4.、Um, so maybe you know, it looked very pretty. So maybe it's you know,、uh, in like 4K, resed up, 60 frames, probably you imagine. So you know, I assume it's going to look very good.、Um, I, think my, uh, I think my game of the show probably was Rise of Ronin. That looked great. Uh, Death Stranding 2 looks awesome, but you know, it's one of those games where I, you know, it, it, I'm gonna have fun, but not really understand anything is, that's happening outside of, you know, like a, br- a very brief understanding that I can get from.、Um, but this was a pretty s a c k state of play for 47 minutes. It was very good. A quick rundown we got. Uh, Stellar Blade, the Shadow of the Hedgehog, Link, Zenless Zone Zero, Foam Stars, Dave the Diver. Very excited about that. V Rising. We don't, I don't know anything about that. I think it's V Rising. Hopefully, it's not like a Roman numeral and it's five Rising or something like that. Assuming it's V Rising. Silent Hill Short Matches, Judas, Metro VR, Legendary Tales VR. Don't really care about that stuff, but I'm glad that PSVR 2 is getting something because it seems like it's been getting nothing since the thing's been launched. So happy it is. Uh, then we have Dragon's Dogma 2. Very excited about this. I liked the look that we got. Not too much was given away. Looks like a Dragon's Dogma 2, though. I mean, it really does, like, doesn't look like anything crazy's happened to anything. It looks like it's exactly what you expect from the game.、Uh, good or bad, I, don't, that, I guess, depends on、um, if you liked the original Dragon's Dogma, right?、Uh, I think it's good, but I can understand people's.、Uh, 
hesitation if you didn't like the first one. It looks like the same thing again, but prettier and uh, hopefully better. Uh, let's see. We after that we have Rise of the Ronin. That is not what I expected from that game. Looks great. Looks very good actually. Uh, I cannot wait to to uh, to to actually be able to play that. And it's very soon too. Uh, much bigger than I thought. I did think it was going to be more linear kind of take on it. Of course, Koei Tecmo. Yeah, I probably should have seen something like this coming, but I thought it was going to be uh, something else. And I'm glad to be wrong. Uh, glad glad we're going to be having different weapons. We didn't get too much story there, so um, I'll be interested to see what you're really doing throughout the entire game. But very happy about it. Uh, and after that, until dawn, nothing really to say. I liked it the first time I played it. Don't know if I won't really need to play it again. Because uh, kind of the point of that game is playing it once. I, I don't see replaying it unless you want, you know, trophies or to see different things. Um, I think you get the most of it after one playthrough. Uh, and then we have Death Stranding 2. Looks awesome. Glad th that we're getting a Death Stranding 2. It didn't, as far as I understand, it didn't sell well. So I wouldn't have been shocked if we didn't see another one. Uh, but it looks like we are. So happy to see it. Can't wait to uh walk around the beautiful vistas uh one thing i remember of death Stranding one was getting weirdly into it after not caring at all uh like i was very invested in in the traversal in delivering and all these things so happy to try it again uh happy to see uh death Stranding two it looks like we are doing the same stuff maybe more combat but it looks like you are still delivering so hopefully you like that it looked beautiful as always uh, and then we have the new action espionage game from Kojima Productions. Exciting. Very exciting. I don't have much to add because they didn't have much to add either. I'm sure there's an Easter egg when they pull out. I'm sure there's a subtle hint that Kojima's working with Sony Productions for a movie maybe based on this action espionage game or maybe Death Stranding. I don't know. I'm sure there's something there. They didn't do that, I imagine, for nothing. Uh, so can't wait for it. Um, and then Final Fantasy VII rebirth february 6th we're gonna i imagine see a very big deep dive into that game uh i'm very happy to see that i am actually in the middle of a final fantasy 7 playthrough right now very uh enjoying my time with it so we'll see more on rebirth very soon february 6th in less than a week it's pretty crazy i definitely didn't see that coming uh and then that's that was pretty much the the state of play um yeah it was great uh, I think if we keep state of plays like this, they're all, I will always look forward to them instead of being like, hopefully this one's good. Because um, if I remember right, the last one was pretty good. But then the ones before that weren't great. I think this is a great way to use uh, the state of play name uh, to have like a mini showcase, not as crazy as a showcase. I think this is actually very crazy. I do think the leaks probably killed it for some people because I'm pretty sure the leaked was 100% correct, and it had everything. Uh, I do not know. I remember seeing the leak, seeing like three or four names and being like, I don't you know, I don't really care, and then moving on. But uh, that's really all I have to say about it. Remember, um, I do have a full breakdown being live on my channel. Don't know if I'll stream it yet. Probably not. It will be going live on my channel probably tomorrow morning if Emmett is free for the review tonight. We'll talk about it, do a full breakdown, discuss our thoughts, and more. So thank you for checking in. Thank you for watching this video. And I will be streaming more. So if you can go over to Twitch, if you're on YouTube, go over to Twitch. Maybe I'll experiment with YouTube as well. Because I know it's popular to stream on both. And there's really no reason not to. Right? So I'll probably experiment trying to do both. Figuring that out. And I'll be live on there. So make sure you go. If you're on YouTube, follow me on Twitch as well. And uh, until next time, go Chief.